Hello everybody, it is the Outdoor Human here today. Today we're going to be talking about the bed rug, which is a one-piece carpeted bed liner. Goes all the way up along the walls, the front, and the tailgate. Closes that gap really good between the tailgate and the bed. So that's that line right there. Let's get a side view of it. It's pretty good. Let's talk about pros and cons about this, this puppy right here. Let's see, pros. Let's start with the pros. It doesn't get hot in the summer. It's probably the most useful thing to me here in uh, the desert southwest. 120 degrees outside. You can still... Uh, Lay on this, you know, kneel on it, touch it, everything, it's fine. Your dog will be fine back there if you gotta haul him around this summer. And uh, yeah, he won't burn his ass off. As opposed to having no bed liner, a plastic bed liner, or maybe even a spray-in bed liner. A spray-in bed liner gets quite a bit hotter than this still. This is just, it doesn't get hot at all. It's pretty cool. The other pro is, uh, it's really comfortable. Uh, it's really padded underneath, if you can see right here. Typically beds, the bed of a truck has a ridges in the bottom. And uh, this is perfectly flat. So you have to kneel down there or lay down for any reason. Uh, yeah, you won't feel those ridges underneath the bed. The tailgate is super comfortable to sit on. And the kids left thing back there. For some reason, you know, but even if it's hot outside of the this side of the beds or the sheet metal itself, you, you won't feel it because it's it got a carpet over it and uh, it stays nice and cool. Another one of the pros is uh it's really chemical resistant. I've spilled uh, used mortar oil back here and the uh, battery acid from a uh, golf cart batteries. It's fine. Just pressure wash it off. Piece of cake. Doesn't mold. And uh, yeah, it did fine. Even after pressure washing it, it stayed nice and looked new again after it dried up and everything. Dried up pretty quickly, actually. Let's see. The other thing is, uh, I really like about it, damp and sound very well. That's why I have these things right here. Let's check this out. It's really quiet. It's, it's like 11 at night right now, and uh, everybody's sleeping, I'm sure. It's actually 11.30. But yeah, that's not going to wake anybody up. As opposed to not having anything. So, uh, for pros, that's pretty much it. Let's talk about the cons. A lot of people don't like that it uh, attaches with Velcro. I've had this for about three years. The sides have been fine. My only issue with this, with the, with the Velcro, has been the end of the tailgate right here. If you can see, it's Velcro right there. And I mean, this is easy to really put it through its paces because at the end, you know, you're jumping up, it gets caught and stuff like that. And I've had to replace the Velcro once. So it was a piece of cake though, $4 and replace it, piece of cake. No issues there, it took like five minutes. Uh, another one of the cons is probably if you don't have your bed covered one way or another, say, let's see, I have the tunnel cover right there, or a camper shell, if you don't have any any one of those, uh, I'd probably get really messy right there. Like, if you live up north, you'd probably be getting pine needles and stuff like that in there, and that'd probably be a 
a little bit basic to get out. And here in the desert southwest, probably get really dusty really quick and uh, have to be vacuuming it or pressure washing it all the time. That is, if you want to keep it clean, right? But yeah, the other thing I wouldn't use it for is like uh, loose sand or gravel. You probably want to lay a tarp underneath it over the bed liner and underneath whatever sand or gravel you're hauling. Or uh, really thorny branches uh, or bushes or anything like that. Uh, I said thorny with a TH. But yeah, you probably have thorns get stuck on the carpet. And uh, which I've had had to do, but I had a I had a tarp, so just tarped it, and uh, when I was ready to dump it at the dump site. I just uh, pulled the tarp out, piece of cake. So for cons, that's pretty much it. It's been really good. Like I said, I had it for three years. Uh, I've hauled uh, furniture, which worked really good for that. Furniture, appliances, slides really good easy on this carpet but a little bit of effort it doesn't slide like say a plastic bed liner which you barely go to take off or lightly tap on your brake pedal and it just slams in you know slams in the front of your bed but now it takes a little, it's got a little bit more resistance than a plastic bed liner to slide things around but yeah uh, yeah that's pretty much all i got for this but i would recommend it like I said, if you have a tonneau cover or a camper shell, or if you don't mind cleaning it or vacuuming it or pressure washing it, it'll serve you good. I've seen different reports. It holds up pretty good with the to the sun, uh, with snow and stuff like that. Oh, I almost forgot one of the other cons. Uh, don't put anything really hot on it because it melts. So I was at the shooting range. Uh, I did a mag dump with my rifle, you know, standard capacity, 30 rounds. And I laid it down here. And you can see that it burned pretty good right there. A nice little burn. But yeah, that was that was a really hot, hot muzzle, I should say. And uh, yeah, it did, did burn it a little bit, but not a big deal. Like that. so that's all I got for the bed rug. Also, uh, I must say there's options without the tailgate part. Say you have a Ford with uh, the steps and the grab handle that comes out that sticks in the tailgate. Or say you have a government motors with uh, that nifty tailgate that likes to uh, split in different parts and stuff like that. Probably you wouldn't need that tailgate. Uh, piece of this bed liner. Uh, you can get it without it. Or you can get this one and just cut it out, I'm sure. And I think if you don't want the whole thing, they also sell just the tailgate part separately. But on this one, I got the whole thing, so it comes as one piece. So I like that a lot. I've been loving this thing. It's probably one of my favorite mods here in my truck. I've enjoyed it the most. Uh, I've hauled rifles without the cases back here all the time. Don't have to worry about getting them all scratched up. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Like, subscribe. Peace out.